I have 733. Yeah, sure. If that works for you all. Okay. Very good. Kim, it's then we'll leave it to you. Excellent. Um, good evening, everyone. And as welcome. a reminder, the meeting will be recorded. Up here. Let's good. say executive work done and be. Sorry. Not a problem. <laughs> Sorry, Doug. Thank you, Governor Lamont. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the May 12, 2020 meeting of the Weathersfield Historic District Commission. For those who have not been here before, tonight's session is composed of two parts, the public hearing and the public meeting. In the public hearing, we will ask each applicant in turn to come forward and explain their application in detail. This will give us the opportunity to clarify what you are proposing to do and for you to ask us any questions. Also, commissioners may voice an opinion or suggestion based on their own feelings at this time. However, a vote is not taken until the public meeting, which follows the public hearing. In the public meeting, which is not open to public comment, you will deliberate your application and decide how to act on it. We may approve it, approve it with stipulations, table it for further consideration, or in rare cases, we may deny it. You are welcome to stay for the public meeting, but need not do so. The results of tonight's public meeting will be available from the Weathersfield Building Office tomorrow at 860-721-2839, anytime after 9 a.m. Please be advised that the Historic District Commission approval does not preclude the need for any other required permits, such as zoning and wetlands or building. Please contact the building department to review any other permits that may be required before beginning construction. And with this, I will ask our clerk, Commissioner Raymond, to read the legal notice. The Weathersfield Historic District Commission will hold a virtual public hearing on Tuesday, May 12th, 2020 at 7.30 p.m. on the following applications seeking certificates of appropriateness. Application number 4999-20, Stephen Caprio seeking to install a three and a half foot high wood picket fence around property at 311 Garden Street. Application 500, zero dash two zero Brian Stanhope seeking to replace existing fence with six foot by solid cedar fence including a 10 foot wide double gate and uh, in driveway at 17 Willard Street if you wish to review the applications on file you may request a copy by contacting HDC comments at weathersfieldct.gov or by calling 860-721-2836. Live participation is available by audio format. Any residents interested in speaking on an application or wishing to listen to the meeting should email HDC comments at Weathersfield WeathersfieldCT.gov or call 860-721-2836. By 6 p.m on the night of the meeting to be, sent, to be sent a phone number or audio access for audio access. Please include your name, phone number, and address in the email. Town of Weathersfield Historic District Commission, Kim Wolf, duly authorized, dated Weathersfield, Connecticut, this 27th day of April, 2020. Thank you, Mark. So uh, let us start with uh, our attendance. It looks like we have uh, three regular members of the commission here, Ovian, Raymond, and Mig I'm sorry, and Mead. Uh, and we also have one alternate in attendance, that's Mr. Miglis. Is there anybody else here that I'm not seeing right now that's a commissioner? Okay, hearing none. That means that uh, the three regular members did, did Lewis, you say Chris and uh, uh, uh. Chris Lyons? 
Yeah, did you okay. say Chris Lyon? I can't see Chris here. right now. Let me just check. Thank you, Chris. He's here. Ah, uh, there we go. Sorry. Thank you. And Damien. Additional here. faces here. Great. Thank you very much. So uh, expanding Damien's that role, here. we have Chris Lyons with us and we have Damien. So uh, it looks like we have four regular members of the commission with us, uh, Ovian, Raymond, Mead, and Lyons. And that would leave room for one voting alternate tonight with everyone participating. As between the two of you, who has waited the longest to participate? Me, I'm sorry, uh, Craig uh, or Miglis? Okay. Probably Thank Craig. you very much uh, in terms of the votes. Uh, we look forward to having everybody participate, but the votes will be limited to Craig o. All right, so uh, that brings us to the agenda. And uh, application number 4996-20, renewal by Anderson, seeking to install uh, replacement windows at 27 Wilcox Street. Uh, this is a tabled motion from a previous date. Is there any additional information available today from a live participant? Um, yes, that's me. I'm here. I'm alive. Um, and uh, I do have, we, we, that's uh, great. <laughs> we did a contract amendment. So we uh, are matching the grills that were done in the first phase of the project that was done back in, I believe, 2013 with the exterior Fibrex grills, the grills between the glass and the interior grills. So I emailed that this morning. Um, I forgot to email it earlier, but we have the signed contract amendment that is changing all of the grills so that it will match exactly the first phase. Um, and if you'd like, I can, I can share my screen and show that to you. But I did email it to, um, oh goodness, I forget, I'm going blank now, but I emailed it this morning. Um, if you'd like, Ms. I can tell Wolf? I have Yes, it. to Miss Wolf, Kim Wolf, yes. Thank you. <laughs> um, you do have that, right, Miss? Great. As long as Kim indicates that. I do, it, match it matches the previous. Kim, do you have the paperwork that? That sounds great. I do, it's all set. Um, thank you it very much, uh, Madam Applicant. Oh, my pleasure, no problem. And you know, I should have said, I should have said in the beginning, if I didn't already, we ask that you identify yourself and give your home address if you're the homeowner, that you give your business address if you're the contractor. Thank you. Okay, you'd like, um, I'm Denise Freeman with Renewal by Anderson and yes. it's 100 uh, corporate drive in Cromwell, Connecticut. I'm not sure what the zip code is offhand. I can find it for you if you like. Um, I'll get the zip code. It's okay. Yeah. It's 06067. They have it. Don't worry. Okay. Thank you very much. Oops. Thank you, Ms. Freeman. My pleasure. So, uh, hearing what we have just heard from the applicant, is there a um, are there any questions of any commissioners for the applicant while we have her with us? Are there any questions of the commissioners? I think that pretty much covers the big question that we had from us. Yes. That's right. I mean, we had a, a fairly extended discussion on this previously. So we thank you for being in attendance with us tonight. This move, uh, meeting will likely move along, uh, but if you uh, don't want to monitor the rest of it, you can contact the town hall tomorrow morning. Uh, but we really appreciate the additional uh, care that went into this discussion with the homeowner. Thank you for coming back to us. Uh, my pleasure. You all stay well, stay safe. Stay, uh, take, okay, take care. Thank Bye -bye. you for your good wishes. Oh, thank At this you. point, thank you. At this point, I'll ask if there's any member of the public that wishes to speak for or against this application. And Kim, is there anyone? I didn't have any public um, comments. Hearing none, I'm thinking that we can go forward. Uh, the public hearing's still open. If for some reason, we've missed someone who was reserved for the time. Oh, uh, we'll move forward uh, to application number four and then three nines. 4099, 
Stephen Caprio, the Project 311 Garden Street. This is a picket fence. And uh, if Stephen would, uh, or if the applicant identify themselves, if it's the homeowner, please give your home address. If it's the contractor, please give your business address. Thank you. No, no problem. Hi guys, it's nice to meet everybody. Um, my name is Steve Caprio. I'm the homeowner at 311 Garden Street um, and the applicant for the white picket fence on the three and a half foot tall. Great. It's good to see you. I'm sorry, can you guys and, hear me okay? Uh, we, there was some time. Yes, yeah, I can hear you. Yes. Okay, great, thank you. Sorry, Zoom was being a little funny with me earlier. That's okay. So there was some documentation provided uh, to us tonight for this meeting. And uh, at this point, I'll ask um, first everyone to have a chance to make reference to that if they haven't already and uh, address any questions you wish, unless there's anything you'd like to begin uh, by letting us know about the project, sir. Beyond what you've already um, turned in. And with, uh, understand did, uh, that you don't have to say more if the papers speak for themselves. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's really nothing else more than um, what was on the paperwork. So if you guys have any questions or concerns, we'd be happy to answer them. Thank you. Question, question about the gates and fences between running parallel to the uh, driveway and the yard. Those are new and are those matching the rest of the fence? Yes, they'll be identical matches. Um, they'll actually just be made from the fence with the added hardware onto them so they're, everything matches. Okay. All right. And are there any qu just other questions, questions on the, of any other? Yes, questions? Doug. This would be yes, Mr. Chris Lyons. does. Uh, Go ahead, Chris. So, so the gate is that one large gate or is that two sections? Steve, that your gate so across your driveway. Um, how's that going to? So, there's actually not going to be a gate across the driveway itself. So, the driveway will be open. The gate's going to be coming if you're going down the driveway. You'll be able to, there'll be a gate probably about four and a half feet wide. I'm going to cut down a fence panel and turn it into a gate with the hardware on it and everything. So there'll be one gate I, to go. You're right, my, my mistake. You'll be able to yep. go and go up the front porch and then in the backyard. Yeah. So we have a golden retriever. Right. Okay. Um, so he's not going to do yep. okay with an invisible fence. No. Good deal. Thank you. Okay, I, th You're I think what was misleading was the pink dotted line on the drawing. Right. And the assumption was that that was the fence, and it's not. Okay, more careful Sorry, examination. Let me, let me take Great. a look. Wonderful. Yeah, some of it goes along the property line, but oh, not yes. across I'm the sorry. driveway that was on the, the other side. Yeah. Yes, my fault. That pink line is the property line. Very good. Um, are there any other questions of any other partners for the applicant? Um, applicant, there is a member of the public that uh, wishes to speak uh, for this application. So at this point, um, unless anything you'd like to add, I'll move to that. Thank you for being with us tonight. And uh, at this point, I'll ask if there's any member of the public that wishes to speak for or against this location. And uh, you all can think about that while I read this paragraph. Good evening, Wethersfield Historic District. My name is Lou Michaels. I live at 303 Garden Street. I am unable to be on the call for tonight's meeting as I have a Board of Education meeting at 7 p.m. I wanted to write and ask that this be included in the number 4999-20 for number 11 Garden Street. I am writing in support of Mr. Caprio's des desire to install a wood picket fence around his yard. He is my, my neighbor 
across the street, and I would welcome this look in the neighborhood. Sincerely, Lou Michaels, 303 Garden Street. So, uh, thank you, uh, Mr. Michaels, for your letter. And if there's no other public comment, uh, I uh, thank the applicant for coming in and joining us tonight on Zoom. And you're welcome to stay for the rest of the meeting, uh, or you can contact our building office tomorrow morning. Thank you. Uh, is there Thank anyone you guys else very much. I appreciate for it. or against this application? You bet, sir. Thank you. Hearing none, I will uh, move to the next on the agenda. And that is application number 5000-20, Hope. Uh, that's the project on 17 Willard Street. Is uh, Mr. Stanhope with us tonight or a contractor? If it's the homeowner, please identify your home address uh, if you're a homeowner. And if uh, you're a contractor, your business address, please. Hi, hey, everyone. Uh, yep, it's, uh, I'm the contractor. I'm Ryan Stanhope, and it's 8 Church Street, Plainville, Connecticut, 06062. That's great. Welcome today, Ryan. Thank you. Is there anything you'd like to tell us about the application or are you uh, wishing to rest on the papers uh, that were provided uh, in support of it? Um, the only thing that I wanted to add was that um, the homeowner was looking to, to um, go with a six foot uh, for, they have a pool outside and they, uh, you know, it'd be a little safer with the six foot. So that was um, the safety issue concern was, was, um, was part of the decision. And it's actually, um, it's replacing what, what it's replacing is actually um, what's going in is a lot nicer. You know, it's, I mean, it's a cedar fence uh, board style, which, you know, uh, I think it would fit nicely in the neighborhood for uh, with the historical district and a nice cedar fence. I know that's, that's really uh that's that's yeah that's really that's really it really just uh, the safety concern and and the looks it will be in a I, I believe to be an improvement so um that's really all well and the uh drawing seems to indicate essentially a rectangular fence uh with the house at the midpoint on the front board por portion Correct. of the fence with a uh, gate on one side to the left as you look at the house and um, a solid panel on uh, panels on the right side without a gate on that forward section. Is that correct? That's correct. Are there any questions of any other commissioners for the applicant? Hearing Actually, none. I have a question. On the right sure. hand side of the house, Mr. Biglis? There, yep. On the right hand side of the house, there's an existing fence uh, that matches, continues on to the neighbor's house. How is that going to be incorporated into the new project? Um, well, it was going to be just the cedar board on, so it'd be split. Um, I would actually, I could actually match the, the single section on the neighbor's side if they'd like and make it all one solid uh, run there so it all matches. I, would, I was asking, I was not suggesting. Right, I was just okay. asking how, what, what was the plan? It would be, it would be uh, the neighbors would, uh, the plan was to leave their section of fence on their property and take an L um, with the, the, the new cedar board fence and uh, continue to the, the, the customer's house. But if if okay. um, if it was an issue, uh, I'm sure you know we could get something to match and make that one solid run across. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. It was not like that before. Any other questions of any other commissioners? What the funded picture done? Or I'll thank Mr. Stanhope for making his way in today, and uh, ask. Uh, if there's any member of the public that wishes to speak for or against this application. 
And hearing none, I will move to application number 5001-20, Charles Drake Enterprises, LLC, seeking uh, amendment to application 4835-19 and number 4927-19, change exterior lighting at 161 Main Street. Hi, so, I'm, sorry, I'm uh, Bryce. Who do we have with us tonight? Uh, Bryce Hardy, 161 Main Street. And um, the reason I am amending this is uh, the, the lighting that has, that we originally had on the application is uh, significantly delayed because of coronavirus. Um, and so this is what we found to, I think is a really good uh, match to what we had um, in the application. And so that's the reason for the change. Um, there's really, I, I don't believe there's a, any real change except for um, things are just a little bit, uh, it's just, it's a, a little different look on the top. Understood. Are there, uh, first of all, welcome Bryce. Are there other um, commission, are there commissioners with questions um, in this application? Hearing none. Thank just, you, Mr. Hart. Pardon me. Go ahead. I just uh, think Bob. that the applicant is trying to uh, curry favor with the commission with his background. Oh, no. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, it is quite attractive. Oh, In any you. event, thank you for joining us tonight, Mr. Hardy. And at this point, we'll. Uh, I ask if there's anyone from the public that wishes to speak for or against application number 5001, uh, which is an amendment uh, to two previous approvals provided by this commission. Hearing none, uh, thank you, Mr. Applicant, for joining us. And we'll move to the uh, last application on the agenda on the hearing, I believe. And that would be application number 5002 dash 20, Brian Wolf, the project at 20 Main Street. Uh, this is another amendment on a previous approval uh, to try to conform um, to a bit of a window change. Is Brian with us? If not, I know there was paperwork not, provided but... um, that documents what homeowners seeking. Uh, so um, unless... Um, Unless me, so the sorry. coordinator or the commissioners are looking uh, for more uh, oral argument, we have the documents. Anything you can let us know, Kim, about the timing here? Should we wait for Brian or? I can get him if you want him. He's working downstairs, but um, it's, I sent the things that it's just changing from, if we did the two windows, Oh, Kim Wolf, 20 Main Street. Um, if we did two windows in the kitchen, one right now is above um, counter height and one is below, goes below cabinet height, counter height. And if we did two regular size windows, they would take up my entire kitchen. Um, so we have to move down to one so we have room for cabinets. So it's one window, Understood. 33 inches wide, a six over one. Are there any uh, questions of any other commissioners for the applicant while she's with us in this capacity? Hearing none, thank you for that additional information, Kim. And of course, uh, there's full documentation of the request on file for us to review during the public meeting. So at this point, uh, before I close the public hearing, has anyone popped up or arrived that uh, would have expected to be involved with the public hearing and didn't get a chance to be? Nobody. One, I will entertain a motion to close the public hearing and open the public meeting on all of the aforementioned items. So moved. Second. Who was that, Mark? Great. Yes. And second was Chris? Lyons, yeah. Thank you. All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Hearing none, the motion carries and the public hearing is closed and the public meeting is opened.
So moving to application number 4996, the uh, told matter by renewal from Anderson, uh, is there a motion? I'll make a motion to prove as resubmitted. I'll second it. Discussion, please. Does anyone feel that there uh, uh, needs to be a stipulation here? Uh, if not, then I think that we saw that we uh, are in a better place than we were the last time the application came before us and uh, we'll end up with a better result that's consistent with the look of the house. Uh, are there uh, any other comments to be made? If not, I'll call the vote. All those, all those in favor say aye. 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 Any other voters? Aye. Aye. Damien, thank you. Okay. Um, any opposed? Hearing none, the motion carries and the application uh, is approved. Or, yeah, the motion carries and the application is approved as, as um, submitted. So, uh, move to application number 4999-20, Stephen Caprio, the project for the picket fence at 311 Garden Street. I'll entertain a motion. This is Commissioner Raymond. I'll, I'll make a motion to make approve, a motion to approve as, as submitted. Thank you. Uh, it's Mark's uh, and is there a second? Second. Lions. Thank you. Thank you, Chris. All right. Uh, again, I think we have here uh, a low impact uh, fence that consistent with others in similar situations of similar materials uh, that have successfully been deployed in the district. Any further comment? Hearing none, I'll call the vote. All those in favor say aye. 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 Claire, did you get a chance to? Yes, aye. Thank you. Hearing none, the motion carries and the application is approved as submitted. Application number 5000-20, Ryan Stanhope. This is the uh, fence project at 17 Millard Street. I'll entertain a motion. I'll move to approve as submitted. I'll Thank second. you, Claire. And that second came from Mark Raymond? Yes. Thank you. So, um, discussion, please. Low impact fence, close replacing what's existing. Thank you. Claire, in addition, the concerns that were raised uh, at the time of the hearing uh, seem to be articulate articulated well. Uh, with all that said, uh, unless there's further discussion, I'll call the vote. All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Hearing none, the motion carries and the application is approved as submitted. Application number 5001-20, Charles Drake Enterprises the lighting project at uh, Main Street. I'll move make a motion to approve. Ask, it looks like Mark uh, made the motion to approve and maybe Chris second. I'll second that. Okay. Uh, discussion. Um, in uh, part due to necessity, uh, it looks like there right. was a request for a change. The uh, replacement items are meant to be uh, low impact and uh, serviceable in their, uh, or utilitarian may be a better word, in their nature. Uh, 
the are of, of common type that I believe uh, won't have a major impact on the district. Are, are those comments uh, consistent with what other commissioners feel? Uh, or is there anything you'd like to add? No, I agree. Hearing all that, I'll call the vote. All those in favor say aye. 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 Any, any opposed? Hearing none, the motion carries and the uh, modification request is approved as submitted. Finally, application number 5002-20, Brian Wolf, the project at 20 Main Street. I'll entertain a motion. I'll move. Approve. Is there someone that would like to second? To as submitted. This is as submitted. Oh, That's thank you. Good. So uh, the discussion here I'll is there a reaction? Yeah. I'm sorry. I think I was the first and I think Commissioner Raymond well seconded me, but maybe I'm wrong. Okay, okay. yeah. Great. Thank oh, you, Chris, good. anyway. Um, so again, this is a, a low impact amendment. Uh, there is a request from two windows to one window so we are not facing the more dramatic change of there being no window in there that might require a bit. Um, it is not uh, for kitchen projects on the portions of the sides elevations uh, to be changing in this way. And this change would not seem to be one uh, that uh, would be objectionable in any way. Uh, are there others in the among the commissioners that would like to add anything here? Hearing none, I'll call the vote. All those in favor say aye. 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 Thank you. Uh, any opposed? Hearing none, the motion carries and the application uh, the modification is approved as submitted. Thank you uh, all for your uh, participation in the meeting. As far as a few more uh, stops along the way, we have approval of minutes April 28th, 2020. And is there any comment that any commissioner would like to make on this? And uh, do we have the voters necessary? Who would be voting on this if Linda? Uh, and or Kim could help guide us. Everyone was at the meeting except for Damien. Thank you, Linda. So I'll make a motion to approve as submitted. For Damien. Is there a second? I'll second, I'll second it. I'll second. With, oh, thank you. A second from Claire, I believe. And uh, our usual discussion, which is that greatly appreciate especially uh, in times like these, the efforts of our uh, colleagues on the professional staff of the town, uh, assisting us in recording our meetings and assisting our uh, constituents in, um, so I think usually at this point, both the reporter and the coordinator. So all those in favor say aye. 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 Any other ayes? Thank you. Any opposed? Hearing none, the motion carries and the minutes are approved. Other business? Public comments on general matters of the historic district. Kim, uh, is there anyone signed up for this? No. So noted. Report of the historic district coordinator. None. Anything for us? I think you said no. I did. None. Okay. Um, voting of office. We've normally not proceeded to do this without uh, a full quorum, or I should say full attendance of all eight of us. So I believe that unless there's an objection, we'll pass. And without objection, we will. A correspondence. Kim, is there any correspondence? Nothing. Is there anything any other commissioner needs to bring to our attention while we're still on the record? 
Hearing none, I thank you all for uh, participating in the meeting tonight, both uh, members of the commission, support staff from the town, our uh, town manager uh, or his staff that was uh, assisting us with the Zoom, and uh, you all in the public. We uh, uh, appreciate the opportunity to serve. Uh, everyone take care and stay safe. Thank, thank you. you. Uh, I'll, uh, entertain a meeting, uh, um, a vote to adjourn. Uh, I guess if I didn't, didn't already do that. So moved. Second. Thank you. So uh, that was Mead and Raymond. All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Hearing none, motion carries. It's 8.09. Thank you, folks. Thank you.